Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about if statements or selection statements. And they basically boil down to this. You have a question that's asked and the answer to it is either going to be yes or true or no or another word for that is false. And if it's true, then you execute a particular type of statement. And if it's false, you choose or to execute a different statement. Once either of those statements is done, then you proceed on with the rest of your program. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to have an example with respect to coffee. So we're going to assume that you're lined up at the Tim Hortons and uh, you go to the cash and you want to get your coffee and you're, you go to pay for it and there's a test that's done. And the test is, is the amount of money that you have greater than zero? If it's greater than zero, you can get your coffee. So it's true. So then you get coffee. If it's false, then no coffee. And then after these two statements are done, then what we want to test for or display or print out or, or talk about is whether our cup is full. And so we want to display the status of our cup, whether it's full or not. Okay. And here we're going to write a program to show you exactly that happening. All right, here we go. So the first thing to do is to state that the amount of dollars that I have are equal to 20. Then I'm going to say if dollar is greater than zero, I'm going to set up my if else um, statement right here. I'm going to put my else in here, my end. And I'm going to write down that if the thing is true, I'm going to display that I got my coffee. And I'm going to also say that the variable cupful is equal to true, like that. Next, I'm going to go down to the else, which is my default or false option. And I'm going to say display no coffee for me. And then I'm going to say cupful is equal to false. So the status of my cup is going to be false because there's nothing in it. After that, that yellow part in the drawing that I had right there will be an additional statement. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do F, print F, my cup is, I'm going to do a little variable uh, magic right here, percent D, close the quote, and I'm going to say cup full like that. And this will give me a display to the screen of the status of my cup. All right, so now I'm going to save it. I'm going to save my script. So I now have example if dot m saved as a file. And I'm going to go uh, over here and run it. But before I run it, what I will do is set up something called a breakpoint. So before the uh, dollar is equal to zero or dollar is equal to 20, I'm going to click on this little dash right here with my mouse. Uh oh, I have an error somewhere in my, in my uh, program. <gasps> there we go. MATLAB found an error for me. I'm going to close that quote right there. Okay. I'm going to try it again. Here we go. Yep. There we go. So I've got a little gray circle right here. This means I've now got a breakpoint at line one. This will help me debug my program one line at a time. So I've got my program here. I'm about to run it. I've got my workspace over here, which is the internal memory of MATLAB, and it will display variables as they appear and change. So I'm going to go back over to run like that. And now this whole menu up here has changed. And I'm going to start using this step function right here. But before I do that, I'll note that my breakpoint has turned red. It says status is enabled. There's um, 
a green arrow that says that I am currently executing my program at this line right here, which means effectively that over in this flowchart right here, I'm at this stage. Okay. I'm going to hit the icon for step. I'm going to hit step. And basically at this point, the workspace has said that my variable dollar has now become 20. MATLAB recognizes it as having a value of 20. We can now execute the dollar is greater than zero uh, test. But over here, what we know is that dollar has been set to 20. That's been done. Now I go back over here, I hit step. And you'll notice that we've gone from line three to line four. That means that this statement right here has been considered to be true. And the code that's, so it's true, and the code that's about to be executed is right there, okay? So I'm gonna continue with step, step, and you'll notice down here in the command window that it says, got coffee. Why? Because it executed this line right here. Next, I'm going to execute cup full is equal to true. I hit step and watch what happens in the workspace. Look at that. Cup full is equal to one or true. Now, I hit that step and did it execute this else end? No, it did not. It skipped right ahead. Here's the green arrow right here to line 11. We are now ready to execute cup full status. Okay, we're going to print out what the status of my cup is. So here, I'm going to hit step and watch what happens to the workspace and watch what happens in the command window. Okay, now nothing's happened in the workspace, but over here in the command window, it says my cup is one. Forget the K right there, that was the debugging prompt. It says my cup is one. This percent D converted the value of cup full from the variable itself into its actual value, converted it and displayed it right there. Okay, so we have now uh, the example of an if else statement. I'm gonna hit quit debugging I'm going to go over here and I'm going to clear everything. Clear all, close all CLC. So everything is now cleared. I'm going to remove that breakpoint. Okay. And we're going to redo everything. Okay. So let's execute this one more time, but this time with dollar set to zero. And that's because I now have no money. Okay, so if I have no money, what will happen with this particular uh, file, this particular function, this particular script? I'm going to reset my breakpoint right there. My dollar is equal to zero. I'm now going to hit run. So we're now at the first line right here. The dollar is equal to zero. I'm now going to step. I'm going to see that dollar has been assigned a value of zero. I'm going to do a test. Is dollar greater than zero? I hit step. It was false. My dollars are not greater than zero. So all of this was bypassed. We don't see any of that. We're now at the else statement. So over here, we have branched over because false not true so what will happen here is I'm about to execute the no coffee for me so step it's going to display no coffee for me you'll see it in the command window down there no coffee for me for me showed up right there and now my variable cup full is going to be set to be equal to false watch it happen in the workspace right there 
So cupful is now zero or false. We've now reached the end of the if statement. I hit step one more time. We're now effectively at this point right here. And we're going to display cup status. And it should say my cup is zero. Step. And look at that right here. So in the command window, it says my cup is zero. Okay, so we've now got that done. So let's change it up a little bit more. Let's say that my dollars are again 20. And I'm going to set this to 5. So if dollars are greater than 5, I'm going to say not just got coffee, but got premium coffee. And I'm going to do else if. Notice how it lined up everything. I'm going to say display got regular coffee. And then cup full is equal to true. So my dollar is going to be set to 20. If dollars are greater than five, I'm going to say got premium coffee and cup will be full. Else, so this is the dollars are um, going to be dollar, oops, not caller, dollar is going to be greater than zero. So if my values are between zero and five, I'm going to get regular coffee. And then otherwise, I don't have uh, any coffee. I don't have any money because I, I won't have any coffee because I don't have any money. And my cup full is going to be equal to false because nobody's going to give me any coffee. So I'm going to save this right here and let's execute it. So we've added in a new branch to this drawing over here, one where it's not just um, something is true, but something is true um, and it has two different possible values, okay, or ranges of values. So clear all CLC. Okay. So one more branch basically has been added to this, or a variation of one of the branches has been added. Now I'm going to hit run. We've hit the breakpoint right here. I'm going to go step. Dollars are equal to 20. We're going to check to see if dollars greater than 5. Step. And the answer is yes, it is greater than 5. And my cup should be full. My statement has been said that I've got premium coffee. Cup is now going to be tested or set to true. And then I've gone past to the end of the if statement and I'm now ready. So I've bypassed all of this and I'm now ready to state that my cup is something. In this case, my cup is one or my cup is true. Okay, so it's full. My cup is full. I'm going to clear this again like that. We're going to run this again, but this time I'm going to say that I only have $4. So I'm going to quit my debugging. I'm going to run. I'm going to step dollars equal to four. I'm going to test to see if dollars are greater than five. The answer is it's not. So we bypass that first component and we're now into the else if. We've now entered the code inside of the else if. We should now display got regular coffee. Oh, and there we go. Got regular coffee. We're now going to set cup is full to true. And look at that over here in the workspace. That's been done. Now we've gone past to the end of the if statement. We're now ready to do the print on the cup status. I go over to step. And it says my cup is one. And there you have it. A way of setting up if, else if, else, and then some code afterwards.